Hey guys, what's up? Slip Disc here. Thanks for watching my channel, and today I'm going to be bringing you the Epiphone SG400 pros and cons. So some of the features of this guitar. Uh, it has a worn satin finish and an aged fretboard, chrome hardware, mahogany body, a single piece set neck with a rosewood fretboard, a lock tone two nomadic bridge with a stop bar tailpiece, two Alnico V humbuckers, a 1.6 inch nut width, a 24.75 inch scale length, and a full set of Grover tuners. Guys, honestly, this guitar is awesome. I bought it, I think, for $350 back in 2017, and I'm definitely not disappointed. But there are pros and cons to everything, and this guitar definitely has them. Now, the pros of this guitar, the action on it is very, very low, and it can be set very low. I believe the radius is 12 inches. As you can see here, you can see the front side with the knob configuration, the tailpiece bridge, and the humbuckers. It's pretty standard for a typical SG setup. And from here, you can see a general overview of the action on this guitar. Um, right out of the box, it was almost perfect, just like the experience with the Guild guitar that I got. I was blown away by this. I did have to do a little tweaking to get the action where I wanted, but you can see just generally how easy it is to actually play and fret down on this guitar. I was just blown away by that. Just one thing to note, it was really easy to set up the action to be very, very desirable on this guitar. This is one of the reasons why I would recommend this guitar personally. And from here you can see the three-way toggle switch that controls the humbuckers. Pretty standard setup that controls the neck pickup, the bridge pickup separately, and then both of them combine. And here you can see the two volumes and the two tones. I know I'm missing a knob, kind of funny. But there are two tones and two volume knobs on this setup. Pretty simple, straightforward to use. Honestly, they all work fine. The pots in them work fine. They're a little bit scratchy, but nothing severe. So I wouldn't worry there. You can get a decent look at this hardtail bridge. It is probably one of my favorite bridge configurations because it's so simple, straightforward, easy to adjust the intonation, easy to adjust the action. I just absolutely love this two-piece bridge. It's one of my favorite. One reason why I would recommend this guitar to other people. One of the biggest cons of this guitar that I didn't like was the humbuckers. This is the, probably the only thing about this guitar that I didn't like. The humbuckers are way muddy. They don't sound clear at all. So if you're looking for a guitar that's going to be totally shreddable, I would look for something with better pickups, in my opinion. But honestly, if you swapped them out, that problem would be solved. So really, I can only recommend this guitar to many people. For the price point of $350, probably one of the best guitars I've bought in my time. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. And have an awesome day, everyone. Peace.